and I'm using another Molly. Shh. And I'm using another. And I'm using another Molly Cosmetics brush. And quiet! Oh my God! Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm showing you a tutorial on this makeup look that you're seeing on your screens right now. It's an all matte makeup look and I am using a mixture of my favorite high-end brands with mid-price brands as well. Let's get into it! Okay, so my face is super shiny right now because I just applied my moisturizer. And to apply my foundation today, I am going to use this really nice silly sponge from Molly Cosmetics. So Molly Cosmetics is a Singaporean brand, brand. And they are the inventors of the silly sponge, which is a silicone sponge like this. It's a flat sponge. So there are lots of benefits of the silly sponge, but one is like for hygiene, it's re really easy to clean. You just use soap and water afterwards. It's also more durable than like your regular sponge or your beauty blender, so you can use it much longer. It doesn't break so easily. And they say that you use like half of the foundation that you normally use when you use the silly sponge because it doesn't absorb the foundation. And apparently it comes on really well. It's the first time I'm gonna try it. Let's do it together. So I'm using my normal foundation, but I am applying a lot less than I would normally apply. Foundation, you know it's my favorite. It's Huda Beauty's Full Filter Foundation. And now let's blend it with a silly sponge. So like I said, this is made of silicone. And oh yes, it is spreading really quite well. I should have applied even less. I should have applied less foundation than I did because yeah, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Oh, you can hear from me and I was like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> but yes, this is applying really well. And I did apply too much foundation onto my face. So tip for you guys, if you are going to get something like this, you really just need to apply very little foundation. So their claim to use less foundation with this sponge is absolutely true. So you see a lot of dupes of this as well. I mean, this was this is not a new product at all, but I think they are the first brand, brand Molly Cosmetics, to come out with a sponge like this. And you already see a lot of um, fake ones, not fake, but you see a lot of copycats already. I mean, I even bought one I remember in Watson's for like, I was in the Manila and I bought it for like 100 pesos, but it did not work like this. It definitely did not work like this. It does feel a little bit strange just because I'm so used to the beauty blender and how soft the beauty blender is. So this does feel a little bit weird because it's not as soft. And so that's it. I've applied it with a silly sponge. So I think like definitely this is the best silly sponge out there if you compare it to the rest. Like the cheap versions really don't work, although this is still really affordable. However, I must say I still prefer to use the beauty blender just because I know like sponges really absorb a lot of the foundation and a lot of your foundation goes to waste. I, you can use just like half of the foundation you use when you use the silly sponge. But I feel like the foundation seeps into my skin better, like the, it absorbs the product better when I'm using the beauty blender. So applying now my normal concealer. If you guys know me, you know how much I love Tarte Shape Tape. And to blend my concealer today, I'm going to use for the first time these super cute Dirty 30 Cosmetic Small Sponges. Just look at how cute that is. So I normally use all of my sponges wet or damp. And for this purpose, I don't use water. I will always use like a facial mist spray. And I said that I'm gonna give you like cheaper options as well. And this is definitely cheaper. This is the Mario Badescu Mist. It is their Cucumber Essential Water. This is really helpful to blend your concealer because it's so small. Okay, it is taking longer though <laughs> because it's so small. I'm putting it on my eyelids as well. All right, and for my contour today, I am using a mid-range price product which is from Nude Sticks. So Nude Sticks, they have like cream contour products, highlighting bronzers, and blushes. So if you're looking for something that is not too expensive but is good quality and it works, you can go for nude sticks for your bronzers, contouring pro product, and blush. Yep, so I got some on my hair. Great. I love their textures because they're just so creamy but they're not oily and they blend really, really well. They look really natural. Nude Sticks is available on the Sephora website. You have that both in Singapore and the Philippines and actually anywhere you are. Yep, that's how it is looking when it is all blended. 
Okay, and to set my foundation today, I'm going to use another mid-range priced product. It's from L'Oreal, the Hydro Perfect Loose Powder. The one that I use is medium shade. I think the medium shade is gonna go well with a lot of people. It's a good one because it's not super expensive. I mean, it's not super cheap as well, but it's not super expensive. That's why I say it's a mid-range priced product, but it does the trick, it works. It does what you need it to do. The texture is really fine. It is long wearing, it mattifies the skin a bit, smells good too. Okay, now that I've got on my complexion, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. You've seen me do my brows a million times. I have a tutorial here on YouTube, which I'm gonna link down below, and I've got a brow tutorial also on IGTV. Look through my IGTV channel for that. Okay, so I've done some baking underneath my eyes and also here underneath my contour, and I'm moving on now to the eye makeup. So, for the eye makeup, I'm using my Inglot eyeshadows mid-range price but really good quality and I'm also using my new Molly Cosmetics brushes mid-range price but good quality so I'm gonna use this pan over here with the brownish colors with the warm colors and I'm going in here with this color which is sort of like an orange brown and I'm applying that over my crease not on my crease but over my crease like on top of my crease very near already to my brows this is a really nice brush. I must say it's really nice, soft and fluffy. I'm so happy I decided to go ahead and use them. Okay, so next I'm taking the darker color with another blending brush, also for Molly. And now I'm gonna apply that on the crease itself. The matte eyeshadows, when they're dark, I must say that it's a little bit more difficult to blend them. I don't know, but like matte brown eyeshadows are just so hard to blend. You see how patchy they come on? Lighter colors and matte texture are definitely easier to blend. I'm gonna take more of that dark color with another Molly blending brush. <laughs> and I'm going to accentuate my crease right here to add some depth. All you need to do is add to the corner of your eye and blend it in to the rest of your eye like that. You want to create a shadow in the corner. Mamma mia! Here I go again, my, my, how can I resist ya? Okay, so from a mid-range price brand, which was Inglot, I am now moving on to another high-end uh, brand, kind of high-end Makeup Forever. This is their Glitzy Face Palette, which I always use. What I love about it is that it has matte colors as well as shimmery ones. And since I'm doing an all matte look today, I'm going to be using these two looks. And I'm going to get this color, which is called Banana, Banana. And I'm applying this banana color right here to the inner part of my eye. And I didn't put concealer first because I want this to come on like really soft. This is gonna create like, well, it's gonna make my eyes look like more, I don't know, I'm completely missing the word. The word is not coming to my brain. Open, not open, just like, I don't know, wide set, I guess. Oh, I like that, Whoa, I like that, I like it. <laughs> I just want to share with you guys that while I'm filming this, like behind my backdrop there are my two daughters who are like laughing Ooh. at everything I say while I'm filming this and making fun of me. Yes, it's funny. And they're so annoying. So you see how that just opens up my eye. I know. You know, I must say that I'm really liking these Molly Cosmetic brushes. I mean, I have been using my brushes. The ones that I always use, they are Makeup Forever brushes. I've been using them for the longest time, like for four years. Maybe I've been using like the same brushes and I haven't like even tried out any other brushes. And I'm really happy I got my hands on these because they are working. They're soft. They, they do the job. They're good. They're mid-priced too, so it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to get anything basically from Molly Cosmetics. Yes, I've been broken hearted since the day we started. My, my. So just a little update, I've been blending this dark brown eyeshadow like forever, forever. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna line my eyes now with my Tarte liquid eyeliner. Okay, so I'm gonna create a wing. To create a wing, what you do is you follow the shape of your eye here. Like when you see it here, so where do you draw the wing? You just extend this here, so... <laughs> Sorry, like, I hope this makes sense, but you basically follow the line. You see this is you see this is a line here, then you go up and you basically follow that line. So it should be going up like that. So you don't draw it like here or there, you just follow this line. So following this line here, that is where I need to draw my wing. So I start like that. And I create my wing. There. Oh, 
there. So I hope you see that. And then I just connect it basically down to here. And then what I do since I never get a cat wing perfect is that I clean it up with a small brush with a little bit of concealer. Just to get like a really nice angle and a clean liner. Okay, so to smoke out your liner a bit, you can get like an angled brush like this. Dip it in a bit of black eyeshadow and go over your liquid liner. Also just to map that out and to add even more depth and drama to that eye makeup, I'm taking again a black matte eyeshadow, applying it onto a small contour brush and adding a bit of black to just here, like the inner inner corner connecting it with the eyeliner and the rest of the eyeshadow. So this is gonna make the look more dramatic, make the look more sexy. And you just have to apply just a tiny bit into the very, very corner. And make sure like that's really nice and blended. So I'm really liking this look so far. Uh, just a few more steps and my eye makeup will be complete. I am now going to work on the lower lash line and I'm going to take that same angled brush, dip it into some black matte eyeshadow and get, some, get to work here. I'm going to go as close to my lash line as possible and apply some of that down here. Then I'm gonna go in my inner lash line, you know, the waterline here with my Makeup Forever Aqua XL Waterproof Eyeliner in Black. Okay, so I've swept off all of my baking powder as well. I'm gonna just attach some false lashes like I always do and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've applied my lashes and I know they're very extra. You know me, I like, I really love extra lashes, but you know, if you're not into false lashes, you can totally achieve this look with just your favorite mascara. I do need to give a shout out though to my lashes. They are from Lash Stage Indonesia. My friend is the owner and he makes these lashes which are so beautiful. They look so natural. They really wear well and they're so affordable and I can actually use them up to three. Okay, so going back now to my Makeup Forever Glitzy Face Palette. They have two shades in matte that I can use to enhance my contour. So I'm just gonna mix those two together and enhance that cream contour from nude sticks that I already have on. Yeah, of course you don't need to do it in two steps. I mean, you can just choose whether it's cream or powder, but I like to do both just because, you know, I'm, I'm on YouTube. I'm gonna take some photos as well afterwards, so I want it very intense. I just wanna say that I did plan to use my nude sticks blush for my blush today because I wanted to use like a mixture of high-end and middle-priced um, product, but as usual, my daughter has it and I told her to return it and she left it at her office. Arr, thank God this Makeup Forever Glitzy Face Palette has a matte color, otherwise I'm really going to strangle her. So I'm going to apply that blush now to the apple of my cheek right there. Ooh, it is very pink. <laughs> Not sure how that's going to go with my orangey eyeshadow, but yeah, YOLO. Ooh, very pink. I'm going to have to blend that really well so it doesn't turn out so pink. Okay, so for today's lip, I want to do a really huge lip. And of course, I can only do a huge lip if I apply lip liner. The lip liner that I'm gonna use today is from one of my favorite brands, Huda Beauty. Guys, I'm sorry if you can hear everything that's going on around me right now. You can probably hear my helper washing the dishes. So after I line my lips like that, I bring the lip liner a little bit in. And then I smudge it a little bit with my finger. And for the lipstick that I'm gonna use today, it's not even mid price range, it is a low price range. It is super affordable, but still really pretty. It is Mark by Avon, and it is their liquid lipstick. It's actually called Liquid Lip Lacquer Matte. The shade that I'm using is M02 Dare to be Bare. Okay, so that is the lips. I've done the lips, and that just makes 
the whole look really nice and sultry and complete. And before I am done, of course, I almost forgot to apply the highlighter. And if you were thinking that highlighters only come with shimmer, you are wrong. The Makeup Forever Glitzy Face Palette has it in matte as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this matte shade called Eggshell. I'm gonna apply some here. Woo! Beautiful. Matte highlighter for ya. And some up here. And a little just below my brow bone. Careful not to touch my eyeshadow. And maybe a little bit on the chin. And before my camera dies, because it is very low backed, I am going to set this whole makeup look with the Frank Body Anti Mist Face Mist, which is a very affordable but really effective and useful setting spray and face mist. The spritz of this is really, really strong, so you need to be careful. And that is it. That is my matte look. It, re it reminds me of the 80s. It has really like strong 80s vibes going on there because when it, in the 80s, like matte makeup was a thing. But I hope you liked it and I hope that was helpful. And the fun Filipino word of the day is basura. Basura means a guy with a caption. And if you go to my camp, you can say, See Jack, I basura am mine. And that's the fun Filipino word of the day. Bye bye! And my shout out today goes to Miss Roby. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Hi girl, thanks for following me, subscribing to my channel, and I wish you a good day. If you want a shout out, make sure to leave a comment down below and be very, very active on my Instagram as well. So guys, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments as well if you want me to review a certain makeup brand or if you want me to do a certain makeup tutorial, I can definitely try it out for you. Hope you liked this video. Thanks so much for watching. Love you, bye. Leave a, leave a. Girls, we run this mother